We will be discussing about the origin of life and in that we will be introducing the topics that we will be discussing in the course of the next topics. So, how did the in, uh, origin of life happen? The human beings, as it has in, increased its development intellectually, it has started to think that how itself or the other organisms on the, uh, on the earth developed. All the organisms uh, are developed from the materials that are present on the surface of the earth. And they are present, there are some basic elements which are making these, uh, the, all the human beings. These include carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, calcium and phosphorus mainly. And there are other trace elements which are also helping the organism to grow and reproduce. So how did the life itself per was produced? And when we see the paleontological evidence, we have the fossils of the earlier type of organism which were very very simple at the beginning and due to the course of evolution they become complex and complex and we have the life at today's form. So the origin of life it is part of paleontological studies and we do have traces of the very early organisms in our uh, studies as well. So how did the life was formed? It was formed by the fusion of organic molecules in the first billion years after the formation of Earth. And there were some sep uh, the self-replicating RNAs. And these self-replicating RNAs, this is just uh, a, a view that sa some scientists have and there was some evidence uh, by some scientists as well that at some point our world was a an RNA world. All the uh, living organism or the ancestors of the living organisms were made up of RNA. The RNA which was self-replicating and was making the RNA world. We will be discussing this idea in detail. And then there comes the origin of life. How did it happen? What are the different theories about that? In the earlier uh, times, the photosynthesis was done by the group of bacteria which are called cyanobacteria. These generated the molecular oxygen in the uh, reducing environment and later it become, there comes more oxygen in the environment and the atmosphere was become oxygenated. And after that, uh, some time passed and three great domains of the living organisms were formed. Uh, we know by the gene sequencing of the modern organisms that in the earlier life forms there were the three main domains in the origins of the life. One was the bacteria, another one is archaea, and the third one is the eukarya. The first two are prokaryotes, and the last one is the eukaryotes. And we will be discussing about that as well. So the earliest fossils that we can uh, we could found is the bacteria in a, in rocks up to 3.2 uh, giga annum, right? So GA stands for giga annum. Giga, wherever the word giga comes, that means one, 10 to raise power 9. That means a billion. So 1 and write no, down the 9 zeros. And annum means a, a year. So a solar year. So 10, uh, so a giga at 3.2 billion years. So that means the bacteria which were as old as 3.2 billion years, they indicated by the, uh, which we, uh, talk about are the stromatolites. So stromatolites are the structures built by the alternating algal mats and sediment layers. And there comes the cellular organisms. Uh, cellular fossils of 3.5 giga uh, annum are highly controversial. Some people believe that that these are actually the cellular organisms. Other people deny there are any evidence. So the first widely accepted cellular fossils date from the 2.5 giga annum. So that means uh, there is some uh, degree of uh, uh, not agreeing be between the scientists. Scientists do not agree on all the things, but there are some things on which all the scientists agree. And the 2.5 giga annum is one of the figures on which all the scientists agree. So then comes the uh, origin of eukarya. Eukarya, as the name indicates, is the 
uh, eukaryotes, the organisms which are having the true nucleus. So we had have the lipid biomarker, and on the evidence of that, we have the origin of uh, eukaryotes, almost 2.7 giga nm. And the oldest eukaryotes are 1.9 giga nm. Uh, all right, so this means that the cyanobacteria uh, were present 2.7 giga nm uh, before, and the the oldest eukaryotes are, were present. The definite uh, evidence was 1.9 giga nm ago. So, and after that, you know, the uh, there was prokaryotes then they become eukaryotes and now there comes the next stage in which eukaryotes try to build up their structures they become multicellular and they uh, make their sexes as well so the red algae from 1.2 giga nm shows that the sex has originated and they show the mitosis but also meiosis which is a sexual reproduction and at the end there comes a sexual uh, sorry multicellularity Multi means many, cellularity means that the having ability of cells. So having multiple cells is the multicellularity. Uh, together with the sex came multicellularity. The position of many and often specialized cells. We are multicellular and we have the specialized cells for everything. Our liver detoxify, our lungs breathe, our brain thinks. So these are the specialization of the uh, tasks that happened and uh, it was first seen in 1.2 giga anums ago in the red green algae. 